All right, so I showed you start eight. Great way to replace the start menu and bring that back. I used that for uh, a little while, but I wanted something more um, as a replacement to drag thing, which was better than the dock. I wasn't really a dock user on, on the Mac. Drag thing was way more powerful because I needed more than one line of stuff. I needed folders and, and, and tabs of stuff of like graphics and 3D stuff and then productivity and then internet and utilities and then other stuff. So um, I looked around and found the best one for me. I've tried several of them. Uh, Stardox Utilities Start 8 was good. The rest, not so much. WinStep Extreme. Uh, so if you go to winstep.net and uh, this is the product, WinStep Extreme right here. Um, you can install this and it's it's pretty good and uh, reasonably priced and gives you docs and lots of cool stuff and lots of stuff like that. So um, let me just show you what it looks like uh, down at the bottom left hand side. Pop it up. There it is. There's the programs, documents. Ta -da. It looks just like that. So uh, again, something very similar. Uh, nice and, and tidy, actually. I, I like the fact that it's really, really simple and tiny and out of the way. And by the way, you can customize the heck out of this stuff. Um, and in, in typical Windows skins and theme, um, uh, why does everybody have these gaudy, huge, all dark, massive contrast? I, I guess they're made by gamers. You guys have lost your mind. Maybe it's cool for gaming, but you know what? In productivity, you know what you want? Calm, nice, neutral grays with a lot of flat areas, not embossed, glinty, kind of weird people with swords and sabers and riding horses and unicorns and crap. You want calm, at least in the graphics world. Um, so tell you what, you might not notice, but down at the bottom, um, that taskbar is different than Windows and this little pop-up that I'm running right here, you can see it comes up, goes away, and this is why I don't like the dock because I need numerous, numerous, many, 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 many uh, things down here. And on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna call this up. So this is called Work Shelf. I wish this was all together in one, but it isn't, and this is called Next Start. So this is two Winstep, Winstep uh, utilities that I purchased together as Winstep Extreme. On the left-hand side, Win Start is that start menu down there. And, and I'm, here's the one thing that you're gonna find out, okay? If you're gonna take my uh, advice and buy this, you're gonna curse me. Uh, in one way, you're gonna say, great, this is useful, but you'll curse me in the fact that there are thousands of options in this thing, and you can waste so much time. So um, I'm getting used to that. But to really get into this, you've got to kind of poke around inside here and find the stuff that you like. It's, it's super customizable, really, really radical. So on the left-hand side um, is Next Start. You can tell it how long of a delay before you open the submenus, how transparent, and notice, opaque, opaque. Remember I was going on about that before? I don't like that kind of stuff. You can also tell it what the menu title bar actions are. I mean, this thing is so freaking deep. Um, and then the task bar at the bottom, how do you want that looking? Do you want it Windows 7 style? Do you want it to display the classic Windows style on top of that? Hotspots, what hotspots do you want? Themes, and this is where you know the themes can get pretty crazy. Um, sounds, animations, advanced settings. So that's just start eight. Uh, I don't think I really poked around much in, in the preferences in Start 8. Um, I was really using the preferences in uh, the work shelf. That was the area that I wanted. I also want to show you that I, I bet you most people would actually turn the dock on. This is part of WinStep Extreme. And you can put it at the bottom if you want and look at what it does. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. So the reason I don't turn that on is because I like the shelf down here to pop up. And then if I need to get to a running application, they're all running over here. So I don't really need a dock and a pop-up and uh, they call these tasks. So I turn that off and, and I, I had this on for a while. I, I had the dock on at the top for a while, 
but I felt like uh, it was too much. And you can have multiple docs. You can go crazy with that. But the themes, holy smokes, there are themes up the wazoo. Um, I found one that was, you know, the least obtrusive and, and simple. And you can turn on arrow and you can see all the transparency crap comes up. Low res arrow. There's lots of, of uh, power saving options inside Windstep Extreme because it's easy to overblow your, your operating system with way too much transparency and shadows and crap. So uh, you can take it easy on here. I'm, I'm still trying to find the best, cleanest, simplest one. There just does not seem to be a lot of people, you know, even on something like this Chrome thing. Look, do we need beveled edges on edges around edges? It's too much for the brain to, to kind of figure out dark stuff. Here's a light one. And by the way, if you go on to, to Winstep's uh, website, there are tons of them out there. Oh, yeah. And check in this open step. <laughs> the one looks a lot like open step. In fact, I, I think a lot of um, next programmers are actually, uh, you know, making stuff for this. There's Windows 7 Extreme and Xandar. But you see so many of them are dark. So I, I just kept the, the one I wanted. Uh, modules over on the right hand side you can see I've got a floating clock floating weather and um, I really love this I actually used to run a utility on the Mac to show me uh, input and output in my um, my network because you can never tell if a web page is, is stalled or not in here this one goes in and out and you can right click on here and you can um, you know change each one of these differently you can change how things look and and what have you can change the weather. Right now I'm, I'm set up in somewhere called Roadtown, British Virgin Islands. The recycler, I love this baby because I can right click and I can empty the recycler or the trash anywhere I am. Um, it's always a floating window instead of trying to get to the desktop. Uh, so I showed you themes, sounds, you can have sounds on here, tasks down here. These are called tasks so I can easily get to already running applications. Uh, you can tell it what happens if you're clicking on a task. Do you bring it to the front? Do you minimize it? Do you show thumbnail previews that pop up? Uh, the tray, that's this little tiny thing down here. This is actually uh, wind steps taking over the, the uh, tray. And I'll have a whole thing about the tray because the Windows tray is really useful, very powerful. You have to know what it is and understand it because it's uh, a huge amount of shortcuts. I believe it's poorly designed just by a little tiny triangle. It's easy to miss it. Um, then you've got preferences. I've got both the work shelf uh, and the start menu both working, uh, running uh, on uh, boot up. Um, I, I, there's other settings in here where I tell it how far, how long do I have to wait before that comes up? So in, in case you accidentally went down there and it popped up, um, another setting that I, I had on but I turned off, which I highly suggest turning off is, you have the ability of mousing over and automatically flipping through these. Um, and I got, um, I got crashes because of that. So it, it, it's, I would turn that off. I was a little bit uh, too um, rambunctious. And this is functioning exactly the way that uh, drag thing worked for me, where I'm clicking on these and you can change the size of this very easily by dragging this in and out. Uh, one of the control panels, look at this, here's control panel. Obviously there's more control panels than this. Double click on it, the whole thing opens. All my control panels are inside here. Uh, you can add anything you want. There's my drives that I'm, I'm connected to, recent items, my desktop items, and I love this button over here, hide and show. Oh, there's my ugly desktop, hide that, show that. Oh, for a demo guy, you don't know how important that is. I used to run several utilities that, that I just hated on the Mac to hide my desktop crap or else you make a folder and you put everything in, you hide the folder and then you got to go in the folder. I love this. I just show and hide all of my desktop stuff inside there. So that is WinStep Extreme and the um, Win Start uh, menu that, that I've added on, third-party utility. I use this all the time. This is my major productivity update uh, after I, I got rid of Start 8. Again, Start 8 is fantastic if you just want that extra start menu. But if you want to have all this great stuff turning on, and you can have more desktop widget things showing up in here to your heart's content. Remember, there's themes up the wazoo. So if you like crazy unicorn dragon themes and stuff, you can get those too. So 
uh, check out Windstep Extreme and uh, get yourself being crazy productive today or just crazy.